Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here to start a new campaign in Hearts of Iron for using the mod called Ashes of the Empire. Now this was my first campaign looking into this early alpha of the mod, but uh, it's a Star Wars mod set after the death of the Emperor and for uh, after the Battle of Yavin and is based on Legends. It's an early release and all focus trees and mechanics are still in development, so we'll see what it's like. I pledge fealty to the Ashes of the Empire mod team, we'll see what happens. Oh, we have Galactic Banks too, oh boy. There's a mod just like this before I played, something similar, but we're playing as a Robo Alliance in this one. Let's see what it's like. The first conference of the Free Peoples. The first conference of the Free Peoples is where we shall decide the future of the New Republic. How we approach the galaxy and how do we get the trust of the galaxy back? Oh, so, the first conference will be held to discuss taxation, ad admin, judiciary, and professional military system. So, Battle of Endor. As a, at the Battle of Endor, the Robo Alliance have killed Emperor Palpatine and destroyed the second Death Star. I love this image. That's totally the Battle of Endor. Uh, news of the battle has spread like wildfire throughout the galaxy, with many Imperial worlds even experiencing celebrations and unrest. The death of the Emperor has sent shockwaves throughout the Imperial system and has greatly reduced central authority within the Empire. Heroes won and all. And what are, oh, we're not making any money. Ooh. Oh boy. We're going to need some serious civvies here. Warlords of the Empire. Following the death of the Emperor, several Imperial moths and admins or admirals have styled themselves as warlords of the Empire, with no named heir to the Imperial throne, and few direct orders coming from Coruscant. Imperial leaders such as Admiral Xing, which I don't know how to pronounce, Grand Admiral Thrawn, Admiral Blitzer Harsk, and Ad Grand Moff Ardis Kane, among others, have consolidated their own power base. Though they still claim to be part of the Empire, these so called warlords have taken authority into their own hands. A further erosion of Imperial authority is likely. The Empire is doomed. Um, I don't want this much debt. Oh boy. M military spending. Infantry upkeep. Okay, infantry costs you quite a bit more. Oh wait, Kashyyyk is at war still? Where's Kashyyyk? Who are you at war with? Because honestly, I'm, I don't know anything about this. Where is this? Oh, Imperial Kashyyyk. Uh... I could get our feet wet, maybe. Sure, why not? Is there a way that we can sell things? Like, sell guns or... Banking clan? Take a loan. Bank of the Core. Bank of Argao. Which I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. And we do need a field commander, because I put... Princess Leia Organa down there, too. So... Yeah, I'll take a convoy. Espionage mission and looming bankruptcy. Break up the Empire. Following the death of the Emperor, many Imperial worlds have declared themselves independent from any central Imperial authority and are less likely to seek protection from warlords. Currently, their political machinations underway on Coruscant to appoint a new Emperor. But in the meantime, Imperial authority has been so severely eroded that most local garrison leaders have realized that while they still wish to be part of the Empire, the nature of the Empire has changed. Further erosion of Imperial authority is likely. The Empire is weak. Time to strike. So here we are. We get more authority, which is just our political power. Uh, weekly manpower is nice and stability is good. New Republic, part of the New Republic, New Republic Senate, which is still being worked on. What is this? High New Republic influence, Alliance of Free Planets, Low Imperial influence, Low Corporate influence, and Moderate Consortium influence, which kind of hurts us. Um, in the meantime, admin taxation, we'll probably need to do that. Our taxation policy towards the galaxy would be imperative in trying to win over the hearts and minds of people while also making our sure our finances survive. Uh, Sate Pestage, Galactic Emperor. News from the Empire. Following the death of Emperor Palpatine. With the destruction of the Second Death Star, the Battle of Endor, a Grand Vizier, a Sate Pestage, has been declared Emperor in a lavish ceremony to the Imperial Palace. Also on historical force for legends, you know, stuff. A month following the Empire's feet, above the remote forest moon, were chaotic for Imperial command, but Pestage, due to his having served as Palpatine's head of government for much of the Imperial period and his long association with the former Emperor, was seen as a natural candidate to become the Emperor. <clears throat> However, his authority is challenged by former moths and admirals who have declared themselves warlords for the Empire. Only time will tell how, this, how long this Empire will, of course, last. Let him have his coronation. His Empire will soon crumble, of course. So, um, we'll see what happens. We have no money. Oh, shucks. Ugh. Oh, yeah, we're here to help. Eastern Kashyyyk? Never been. I'd like to go someday, though. Unexpected troop movement to Kashyyyk. LOL. All right, we did it. Can I take a sheik? Oh darn it! And there you go. Beautiful. We did it, my friends. Here, promote a first rebel infantry battalion. No, we can't. Okay. It costs a hundred. Oh, god dang it. Oh, that's so Where are we at? Oh, we're up here. And I'm back. That counts as one lease, but what else do you expect? Alright. 
Um, so after taxation, military adjudication, let's go with administration. Our new administration must be sorted out before we can proclaim ourselves a new republic. The time for reform is now. What do you even have down here? I've not even looked at this. Militia armies. Militia cost goes down. Droid army, that'll be cool. Clone army. I love clones so much. Oh my god, it's not funny. Uh, we probably want professional force. Mercenaries. Private security. Alright, gangs. All species allowed. Primary species only. 8%. It's not bad. Every citizen's a soldier. It's not bad. Good stability and get militancy. Huh. Cap to 10. Oh. Do we have a cap? And citizenship through enlistment. Which is not necessarily a bad thing. I kind of like that. Weekly map is pretty nice. Uh, mixed trade. Oh, it's not terrible. Wealth generation economy. Oh, good God. Corporate economy focus. Civilian economy focus. Slave economy. Ooh. I like that. War economy. Huh. Resource economy. Organizations. Oh. We get more loyalty if we want. Bothan Spy Network. So our taxation policy. The Republican Empire have both had different policies on taxation. A reading at the galaxy. <clears throat> uh, once again, we must choose how we'll fund our new government as well as our military. Some are proposing we implement a new tax in order to pay for the costs associated with creating a new galactic government. Others say we should cut down on the current tax rates to encourage plans to allegiance to our cause. Cut down on tax laws? You get more stability, use money. Uh, I'll be honest, I don't mind taking a little bit of a stability hit right now because well, we're 65%, which is decent. Not perfect, but we have no money. So, unorganized navy, that's not good. Military staff, do, ooh, we have no one here, huh? Okay. It's all the infantry that's just costing us so much. This is probably bad. You know what, let's save. If we do have to go to war, we can, we can train new divisions. All right, we're not making any money at all, and we have bankruptcy coming very soon. But if we're bankrupt, does that do anything? Well, we'll see, I guess. I want to build some civvies, but we, we can't. Competing tech, uh, engines. Probably getting engines for our ships would probably be a good idea. But we can also do this too. I don't know. Artillery stuff, vehicle weapons, sure. Honestly, if you know how to play this, please let me know, because I have no idea. Adjudication! The laws of the Imperials. Oh, look at that. We're far-reaching and discriminatory. If we're to take over from them, we must decide on how to handle our justice system, and how to fix what was done to those who were hurt by the Empire. Hartz declares himself Lord High Admiral. Blitzer Hartz, the leader of the Imperial Splendor Faction, Zero Command, has announced that he's been promoted to Lord High Admiral. He intends to use this new position to grow the influence of Zero Command throughout the Inner Core. Many Imperial and Rebel leaders are skeptical of the legitimacy of the promotion, including Le Organa, who says that she suspects he gave the rank to himself. Despite the strange rank that Harsa has been promoted to, celebrations have erupted on Zero Command's capital world of uh, Pallas the Sixth, and there's been a surge in popular support for the warlord, Lord High Admiral. The laws of Imperials are far-reaching and discriminatory. Yeah. Make it to Marty. So, so we have this one, gains debt one for a year. I mean, we can't build anything, but. Oh. All right, I have a policy though. All the galaxy has been ruled by the Iron Fist of the Empire for years. The scars of the previous governments are still felt by many. Many worlds that were neglected by the Republic feel that the bureaucracy must be cut down and the government must function at a quicker pace. Other worlds, however, feel like such a radical change while the government is still so young is dangerous could provide or can prove to have negative consequences should these reforms fail. What is bureaucracy here? Militancy is war support. We want more war support. Oh, manpower appeal. What is militancy? Looks like research stuff. Yes, yes, no, yes. God, where's the exit button on this thing? Uh. There you go. Uh, 
Bring back the laws of the Republic. Streamline it. And military. The Inner Republic's military is largely composed of ragtag groups of mercenaries, rebel cells, and civilian volunteers. Much for the military in order to face the Empire before the wars to come. So let's see what happens when we do that. Do we lose any money? And what do we do with this? It's probably a terrible idea to do that. So we've got X-Wings too, which are nice. Or X-Wing Wongs at least. We don't have very much research, so... We'll do whatever it takes to for it, so we'll do okay maybe? Probably need an engine for those things. So even if we delete our divisions, we're still losing an insane amount of money. Our ad adjudication not policy. I guess we better train these guys too. We have no one here. John Evans, what a Star Wars name. Crimes run rampant across the galaxy for long before the Empire existed. However, recent years benefited us. The question is if working with crime lords is a good idea while we try to gain legitimacy is something many leaders within the rebellion are asking. <clears throat> if we continue to work on the crime lords, it may benefit us when it comes to reclaiming Coruscant. And dealing with spies, however, it may reflect badly on our new government. <clears throat> and we encourage crime to benefit ourselves. Crackdown on crime. Further ties. Crackdown on crime. The Alliance of Free Planets. Now that the Conference of Free Peoples has been completed, it's time to proclaim the Alliance of Free Planets to take back the capital of our republic. Well, maybe I shouldn't have deleted them all. Prepare for reclamation. Well, I don't, just don't know. Like, we have no... We can make divisions, of course. But, like, it costs us so much money, there's nothing we can do. Torpedo attacks, artillery, infantry, well, let's go this one, then. The New Republic military is quite young, of course. Uh, while we are still wondering how to best unite the galaxy, it's best focus on expanding one area of the armed forces. The military may benefit us when we are fighting on planets, however, having a strong navy is about maintaining our position within the galaxy. Mm. Well, we have no resources, and we can better be spending this for the military, so we'll go that one. What is this? Light laser mounts, heavy laser mounts. Light turbo laser mounts. I don't want to hurt our agility, so. There you go. Guess we make a lot of X Wings. Um, prepare for reclamation. We must prepare to take back Coruscant from the capital, the capital of the galaxy. There you go. I really don't know if this is going to be enough. I doubt it. If I need to, I'll reload the previous save too. Just do that anyway. Screw it. Uh, the Republican Empire have had both their different policies on taxation. If we unite the galaxy once again, we must choose how we'll fund new government as well as military. Proposing we implement a new tax to pay for the costs associated with creating a new galactic government. Um, I would say we should cut down on current tax rates and encourage planets to pledge allegiance for a cause. I'm not going to go down 50%. So we have both cutting down on new taxes and increasing things in taxes. I love it. It makes sense. Support equipment? Sure. And there goes a budget. Black Sun captives. The plan is proposed to break, break out Black Sun leaders in order to aid in taking back Coruscant. Make it much, more, much easier for us to have leader later issues with these crime lords. Well, we're going to do all the focuses that we can, so... In order to better prepare for the invasion of Coruscant, we'll contact criminals who are working on the planet in order to help liberate the world. It causes some consequences in the future, but it could be vital to retain the planet. Do we not have XP at all? Is there really any point to train these guys under John Evans? Um, bring out the captives, let them cause chaos. Nice. So, we change the trade laws, huh? Source income in. 40 30% income modifier plus corporate factories. Military factories cost us things. Military income modifier. Resource focused. Hmm. Probably need to do planetary defense. 
Alpha Blue. Mixed trade. We can't go down there. 8%, 8%. It's not bad. We get more weekly manpower. We already have weekly manpower, though. Militia armies. Honestly, private security. I want a professional force. I want to go there with a professional force. I think that'd be better. And then take back the capital. Of course, not lies behind many obstacles, one being Borealis. If it's secure, we can go back and take the capital of the galaxy. The Republican Empire both have different policy and taxation. Uh, what? Ask for more disruptions. Get more guns. Do we need more guns? I think we need to ask for more disruptions. Encourage resistance cells. Call resistance cells to rise when we invade Coruscant. The army of free men. Army of freedom. By bringing resistance cells together to a part of planet, we can fight with one united force as opposed to having our force spread thin. Alright, well... The Rebel Alliance, Imperial Mandalore. Oh, this is a Galactic Empire down here. I have no idea how this is going to go at all. Do they even have dockyards? I guess we'd go to probably Imperial Metal. Oh, Moff Gideon, huh? Um, University of Coruscant, huh? So they're down here. Faction map mode, it's still pretty hard to see anything. Alliance of Free Planets, Night Sisters. Oh, well, we're over here. Which goes to there, so maybe we should do this instead. You guys go from here to there. Maybe. The Pen Star Alignment of Powers is formed. I mean, we're on Yavin right now, but... Uh, I guess we'll have to wait and see. An invasion begins. An invasion of Coruscant begins for the Republic. Maybe we could have resistance, those would have been better. I have no idea. It's not like we have any planes either. Another Mandalore? Yeah, this is where you can't even invade, so. Like I said, I guess we'll have to wait and see. Then eventually, uh, the Republic of War. Now that we've re-established control of a core science, time to proclaim the new Republic and bring our nation into its proud future. Bacta crisis. Oh boy. Rampant crime. We reorganize the new Republic. With no civvies. And no army XP. Because I like to throw some support already on here, but... I guess we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, everyone can join, yeah? Oh, we can just do that immediately. Okay. Well. Bondor. Wait, why are we doing force defense? What the fuck? Uh. 
These guys aren't paratroopers. So they're not going to be able to do that. So... Uh... Let's see bad news. Last rotation, one of our freighters used security weapons and other equipment for joint military exercise. I had his cargo stolen. The freighter in question was a seasoned pearl vessel and a query. I started to rule out foul play. It said it could have been coming at a worse time. Well... Okay. How do I invade places then? Can I go here? Well then, can we go from here to here to here to here? Oh, well, the New Republic now, the base of operations. Well, you have it's long served as the base of the battalion, or rebellion. Continue serves the cause of freedom just until the entire galaxy lives in prosperity. The war within. Well. Rebel training grounds. I kind of want to wait. Han Solo. Recruit Han Solo. Is it the Valkyrie? Until we actually finish this war first, maybe? So, in the meantime... I did want to go down to like professional force. So it doesn't cost us as much, probably. Well, it's basically the same cost, but whatever. Can you guys do this? Can you guys like dazzle me? Oh, well, we need more convoys. Well, god dang it. Um, we haven't do five focuses yet. Well, we're going to need some convoys, aren't we? Dirt steel. How do we have. Oh, did we do something here? Since so when did we take this over? Or did our allies do that? Okay. Max factories in the state. Five percent more output. Which I want. Uh. Sure. Maybe coming down here wasn't a good idea because there's like no one down here. And we might not be able to actually leave. Oh boy. Um, news from the Empire. Following the Tron escape of Sa Sage Sat Pestage. Madam Director, Isan Isad has been declared Empress in a discipline center money in the Imperial Palace. Pestage proved to be a weak ruler and is eventually undone by his own paranoia. Having met with General Leo Ghana betray the Empire after learning that some of the members of the Imperial leadership were plotting against him. Director of the Imperial Intelligence, Yuzan Izard, as the one who exposed the treachery, gained much station. Ever since he control from the council, she was in Empire for how long? Don't ask me, man. I'm just here. Oh, wrong one. I'll take this place for if they have more resources. They don't have very much. Okay. So can you leave now? Go here. I guess so. Um, cap conversion speed, repair speed. Efficiency cap. Efficiency cap. 10% is better, so. Mm hmm. Did we not build that already? Extra fuel. Would I rather build? I think that's really unfair. Would you rather build or would you rather not build? Mm hmm.
That's right, we have no money, but don't worry about it. We didn't need it. Well, how do you get more from her? Oh, you can do both. Yeah, that's fine. I thought they, for some reason, I thought they were like mutually exclusive. Why are you holding position there? There you go. There you go. You try to do it. All right, we landed. Not sure what's wrong with you guys, but uh, oh, there's a Galactic Empire too. I'm sure. Oh, no, 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 no. Where are we at? There we go. Guess spread out. I do like that weekly thousand vampire though. It's very nice. As you were slowly just dying and taking everything here. What happened to you taking everything? The barnacles, man. Support equipment? Yes. Bro, can you like take stuff? More debt, but I guess that's just a number. Oh, we have to capture course on right now. Oh, we'll crud. So that's nice, advanced mining. I guess. Research speed coordination. See what you can do. Oh, good God. They have so many divisions down here. Yeah, I don't know if we can actually do this. Um, I'm going to have to redouble check this because this is not. This is going to be impossible to do. And here we are at in a better situation, and pretty much I'd use Khan's commands to uh, get to this place, so we invaded normally. Um, we could we could not in attack them though, but we did throw some more support artillery on them. We've caused quite a few casualties. We've taken about 10,000 ourselves, which is overall not bad, especially if we get 500 every week. So, in the meantime, yeah, they have no divisions because there's no way in the world we could have taken these guys on fairly. There's absolutely no flipping way. Um, so. And we have the modifier, so invasion of course not. Oh, we want to make sure we actually do well. We're still bankrupt, but we're actually making money now. Go figure, once you take over other people, you make a lot more money. I see why the Empire wanted to do it. So there you go. And we got them. Totally fairly. That's right. Totally fairly. Bruh. 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 Um. Uh, well, they're still here. And we still have to fight them. Uh. Well, we're still gonna do a few things here. We're doing resistance suppression. We'll do the Republic Born. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll make sure that they're completely dead. We'll definitely make sure. And so we've done it. The Reclamation of Coruscant. Um, but we have an example quote. But I can't exit out of this. So I try to reload this, this game save. And I can't do anything about it. So we're kind of stuck with it for the time being. But we have uh, the base of operations. So that one's going to be done. Now we're negotiations with the Hapes. 
A hate consortium, a wealthy and powerful empire in the galaxy, has also been having to deal with the Imperial Warlord Xi Jin. Here they, we, they would be willing to go to forge an alliance with the New Republic against a kind of man and enemy. War with them. Gail Akbar and Forsk uh, fade off. I started a rivalry that is causing a division within the, the New Republic. It's time for us to pick a side. Well, I guess we're back at war. Um, well, that's three planets. Could y'all like? God. Try to help you out and do that, maybe. Mm, where's Rodeo? There it is. Cool. Negotiations begin. Um, Prince Isolador of the Hapes Consortium. As another delegation has shown, a great interest in working with the New Republic. He offers many new gifts to us while also sharing our desire for an alliance in the future. My intention, and see, wonder what his intentions are. Me too. Prince Isildar. Prince Isildar is the son of the Queen and Mother of the Hapes Consortium. He has offered his hand in marriage. This would bring the Hapes Consortium not only to the New Republic, but it would also bring lots of power and prestige to Leia. I don't know if we're really looking to get married, though, are we? Oh, there's someone here. Oh, you're so good. Yeah, I'll give you that. Why not? I just realized that we have the XP up here, too. It's really hard to see. Mon Calamari Cruisers. Akbar's offered some Mon Calamari Cruisers in support for the given them within the Senate. Um... Oh, they're still moving. They're still they're very slow. We have plenty of money now. I mean, earlier, obviously, we didn't, but still. Can we actually win here? I don't really want to force attack, but... Prince Ezodiller has made his intention to marry Queen Princess... Pr marry Princess Leia clear. The blessings of the Queen, mother of the Hapes Consortium, intends on allying the New Republic with his union. Han Solo, however, has made his intentions clear by kidnapping Lee. Han will always be the one. Han Solo helped Leia make connections with the underground, making her missions even stronger. I'll have my hand in marriage. Well, Han Solo will always be the one. What do we force the attack? It would cost us a lot. That was going to cost us a huge amount. Well, that's the case. You hold. You go back. Hold and go back. We'll redo it. Um. I do that stuff. Ooh. Ship stuff. Frigates. That stuff. Go make some more convoys, anyways. We're probably going to need them, anyways, right? So, after that, the insurrection fund. Borsk Felia has offered funding in exchange for help we provide him within the Senate. Okay. Why not? There's plenty of manpower now, so this time we'll do it like this. Vision, nice. Speeder bike stuff. Engineers, I guess. Um, train facilities. There are many train facilities that must be open on Yavin for both of our army to train in. To train insurrections abroad, maybe. We're looking a little down. Oh my God, sixty thousand. It's because we had to take all those other planets over. Well then, the dual princess Han Solo. Guess from the Haps. Well. Han Solo, a long-time lover of Leia Organa, has decided to offer his own hand in marriage. Han is a hero of the Republic, going to bring a lot of meaningful assets to the cause. Rammers, double training grounds. Well, yeah, I guess. Makes sense. Can I buy guns? Liquidate? Oh, 
Oh, yeah, we guess we can. Well. But do we have any guns? I, mean, I need guns more than anything else. X wings, K wings. what it is. Holy crap, there's a lot here. It's almost too much. What's the modern robot divisions? That right there. There we go. Now we got him. Go, Johannes, go. Surround and circle and destroy. Rangers of the Republic. Rangers are elite group within our military. It's imperative that they become the most elite force in our galaxy. Sure, why not? Advanced mining's nice. Strong are they? My God. Uh, Rebel training grounds. Serve as base for operations for all Rebel cells within the galaxy. Or from here, we can make sure they're organized and get the support they need. Yeah. Sounds pretty good to me. Western Rodia. Oh God. Harsh training regime regimen. To be a ranger in the New Republic means you have to pro be proved that you're the best. The best soldiers out there are the ones who train day and night for every mission until they win. Their strength literally just does not die, and that's an issue. Do we have to take literally every single tile? What the heck is wrong with this, man? Well, we got him eventually. Bruh. Well, we're going back home. Where's home? No planes, but that's pretty normal. Oh, where you guys at? Oh god dang it, we're still at war with someone. Yeah, I do. Oh, we're right there anyways. God dang it, okay. Well, it doesn't really matter if they have no divisions, so do that and just go right to... Uh, none of you are going to do that except for one division because you're probably going to die on the planet there. Okay, then. Uh, 
Heavy raining, uh, weapons training. We'll start training rebel cells using rocket launchers and thermal detonators so they can better sabotage and destroy Imperial heavy equipment, which is heavy on their planets. Um, Dartomir. A single mountain clan of Dartomir has been fighting with the faction of Shin's forces. These are line themselves. Whether they're Night Sisters, a faction of the Dark Side Witches. It's time we start supporting the single singing mountain clan. Or the Smugglers Alliance. Hand ties of Smuggler Alliance will be instrumental in securing good relations with the organization and giving us extra vital resources and vast resources. There you go. You made it. Good job. You're gonna die here. You're literally gonna probably die there. But oh well. Um, yeah, living off the land. Make sure the surgeons know how to use their supplies sparingly. Is vital at knowing winning back home. Any fighting force, our arms are composed of very small amounts of troops, but they are the most elite troops within the New Republic. Recruiting more special forces, we're able to further our research. Sure, why not? Dr. Mir, the hunt for Tsijing. Oh. Tsijing has been a powerful presence of the galaxy ever since the fall of the Empire. Let's have crack, track him down and bring his tyranny to an end before we can destroy the lives of more citizens of the Republic. Galactic support units. There are specialized troops across the galaxy that we can utilize in order to make sure our special forces are even more powerful than they already are. Uh, heavy Rangers. Mobile Rangers. Let's go Heavy Rangers. Rangers need to be ready for heavy combat situations. That means equipping them with armor. It's more important to keep our troops alive than spend money on them. Criminal Contacts. And the Smuggler's Alliance, Criminal Contacts, are going to come in handy if we want to start draining the resources of the Empire. New Republic of Privateers. We'll propose the New Republic, a new program which will recruit pirates into the official privateering fleet. Not only will the Empire fear of privateers, but also reduce the crime amongst the New Republic nations. Solo Command. Solo Command has been a vital element of the New Republic military. They have potential to do even more now that our forces are more organized. Imperial Heists. The Imperials have access to many unique techs and luxury resources that can be sold to continue our fight to fund our fight against their tyranny. By organizing these raids against their bases and ships, we can acquire more assets for the New Republic, old friends. Garn by Iblis has been a long-time friend of the Republic. Although there's been contention in the past, it could be fruitful to ask if he'd be willing to support our cause. Modify a protocol droid by using Protocol. Modify protocol droids for our privateering. We can only make us more effective while also helping our situation when it gets messy. Renowned smugglers. These most renowned smugglers for a heist. We'll improve the chances of success on a haul of a heist. Imperial co-breakers. Co Using co-breakers, we can gain even more intel on the Imperial's activities and start acquiring new intelligence assets within their countries. Or nations. Hero of the New Republic. Leia has once again proven herself to be Hero of the New Republic and has been honored by the Senate for contributions to preserve democracy and securing New Republic funding. Due to their success against the Empire, we now have a request additional funding from the New Republic. So I'm going to end it there. We're going to have one more episode in this campaign. Um, we'll see what we can do with this one. Um, just because we have so much resistance and we eventually will have to go to war with the other group. And our guys are just looking so rough right now. It's not funny. Especially when we have no guns. But hey, if you enjoyed this first episode, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow. As we'll see what else we can do with uh, the Rebel Alliance. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.